Everybody get up. Welcome to Body Shop TV. I'm the Body Mechanic NYC, and Chella is out playing somewhere in the southern sun, hanging out with her parents, working on her tan, doing squats, and um, working with her dad, shooting pool, giving moms a hug for me. <coughs> and I today have three very distinguished guests and family. We have my daughter, Savannah. Say hello, Savannah. <laughs> Man, you gotta speak up. She's like, ah, yo. And I have my new friend, John Papa. Yes. John Papa and Chris. Yes. Chris Banker. Chris, Chris. Banker. Banker. Chris Banker. So, today's topics, we will t we'll be talking about <clears throat> is it important to have a healthy partner? And the other um, topic we were talking about, is it important to be connected to your environment? I think so. Most definitely. Well, if you stick to the, uh, the first topic um, first with the healthy partner, um, most definitely. Because um, there's, I've had relationships where um, I was with somebody who didn't take care of themselves, and that's what happened to me. But the thing is with relationships is I feel uh, that Regardless, when you guys start to get comfortable with each other, you start to not really do many activities, which then leads to bad eating habits and laziness and not really doing things. So the key to a healthy relationship is to keep active and do things. And you know, everyone's come, you know, fallen victim to that, um, to that game, you know, right. of not being healthy all the time. But it's a matter of keeping that going to keep that relationship healthy. So um, well, we're actually learning that as we speak in the relationship I'm in now. That, that's good, and, and, and later on, we're going to, folks, let me share with you a little bit about, we had, we had Mr. Papa on our show last week. He has, he's one of the first people on Long Island to actually start a flotation center, actually a flotation um, room. Most people have small flotation tanks, but he actually has a facility with a couple of flotation rooms, and we'll be talking more about that, so he's well into his health journey. And um, just to talk a little bit about how I came in contact with these two young gentlemen. Um, about six months ago, Chell and myself, we went to a wellness um, conference, the Naval Conference. I think it was Naval. Yeah, Naval Expo. Naval Expo. Yep. And we met the owners of a company called Fountain. <clears throat> and um, they are the ones that actually produce Kangen water. Am I correct? Is it Kangen it's water? A, it's a Viera? Valera. 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 OK. Valera. All right. Is that the machine that does the, yes. that creates the? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, excellent. And, um, we had an opportunity to experience some of their um, things that they do at their facilities, uh, ionic foot soak and colonics. So Chell and I happened to venture into one of the locations last Friday, and we met Chris. And Chris and I started talking. We connected. And um, I shared with him about our TV show here at Madhouse. And he said, in Deer Park, and he said, oh, my friend has a, float, a flotation um, uh, place in Deer Park. And I said, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> and folks, let me tell you something. I have completely OD'd on it. You know me, I'm the health Nazi, literally. I mean, if it's good for health, I'm in. So within two hours of meeting Chris, I met John, and I did my first deprivation chamber. We will yeah. talk about that specifically probably in the second half of the show. Yeah. And... Um, I thought I was in the, I mean, I've always, I've been in the right place the last few years, but this has just taken my whole health realm to a whole nother level. So we'll talk more about that. But um, today's topics, like I said, it's about, is it important to have a healthy partner? And the other thing is, um, how important it is to be connected with your environment. So we're going to go back and forth about different subjects, probably things that you've never, ever heard of before. Most and um, likely. It's going to be very important for you to share it with your family and loved ones. And once again, just to reiterate what, what um, Body Shop TV is about, it's about wellness and relationships and the longevity of both to enhance both arenas. And um, 
I have my lovely daughter here just to back me up. By the way, my little superstar here was the number one 10 year old in Long Island for breaststroke last year. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Are you going to be swimming this year, Savannah? Yes. Huh? That's sick. Yeah? That's What's your awesome. favorite stroke? Breaststroke. Oh my God, Savannah's got that little voice, but you should see her in the water. That water is scared when she jumps in there. <laughs> but what are you doing now, Savannah? Dancing. Yeah? What do you like better? You like swimming better? <laughs> it's so funny. She had made this team that was difficult to make. And, and it's funny because the night before she was actually supposed to start practicing with this team, I, I couldn't sleep and I was uneasy about the fact that my, my young, tender 10-year-old going to be 11, she's now 11 years old, is going to be swimming throughout the fall months, the winter months, in a chlorinated pool. For those of you who are not sure about the, the effects of chlorine, remember, chlorine, by all accounts in the EPA, is considered a pesticide. Yep. And folks, believe it or not, we are human pests. We are microbes, we are bacteria, and that's just what chlorine kills. So just to kind of start this in the right direction, for those of you who have homes who are renting and chlorinated water makes its way to your tap, it is important for you to filter that water before it touches your skin and before you ingest it. Chlorine destroys internal um, bacteria and microorganisms that facilitate proper digestion. So you can, you can have, uh, if you have a home, you can put a filtra si filtration system at the interpoint of the home, or you can actually filter at the tap or at the shower head. But it's important for you not to allow chlorinated water to mm -hmm. touch your skin. If you don't believe the effects of chlorine, take one hand, run water in your sink, dip it in the sink, pull it out, shake them out, walk around for about 10 minutes, and then look at both hands, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Once chlorine mixes with inorganic or organic compounds like hair and skin, it becomes an acid. Did I say acid? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. And the same thing it does to your body. So think about your young... <clears throat> Because I always like to take it home. Hey, what you do it yourself, you're an adult, it's your business. But you are supposed to protect your young ones. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah, and definitely. my buddies here, they're fully aware of a lot of things that we're going to be talking about. So like I said, we're going to share some things today. Mm. So what do you think about the partner thing? Is it important to have a healthy partner? Uh, immensely. Um, I have been through a couple of relationships, you know, kind of like what John was saying to go off of that. Um, I'm now in a relationship where we both understand that and we're both on the same page. Um, but it's everybody moves at their own pace mm -hmm. kind of thing. So it's, it's a little tough to, to uh, get somebody to go from not being that healthy. I personally have just been kind of on this journey um, to give you a little background. I, <clears throat> I went to University of Delaware for a little while, and I was partying a lot. And I essentially came home to hit the reset button type of, uh, well, I just thought, thing. That's what I want you to share. I want you to and, share your own personal journey. Like, like yeah. do you mind sharing some of the things that you used to do? Like, sure. Tell us how we used, used um, to abuse your body. <sighs> <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of us do that. It's, we just don't realize. <clears throat> it's yeah. funny because I, I, I often, you know, it's... I, I, a lot of spiritual teachings like Buddhism and things like this where we don't focus so much on the past. But uh, recently I've been sharing this with some people, so it's interesting that we're bringing it up now. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't healthy at all. I, when I was a kid, for example, I never ate greens at all. Not once, never. It, wasn't, it was never, that thought never crossed my Did mind. Did you say I was very greens? Greens. Interesting. Correct. Savannah. Never. Greens. <clears throat> he never ate greens when he was young. Hmm. Ever. Interesting. If I had, if I ever ate food, it was pizza without the cheese. And then, you know, because I, I was very picky. I would eat chicken nuggets. They had to be with ketchup. And I always ate fast food. I mean, I would even have a preference. I would I, McDonald's over Burger King. And I would sometimes I would make my mom, this is how spoiled I was, Jesus. I would go to McDonald's to get the McNuggets and then make my mom, can we get Burger King's fries? That's how, you know, but it's, it's also, we also, we all, I know we all know this, but it's also important to understand that this stuff is chemically engineered for yeah. our bodies to... To, to be addicted. To, right, yeah, to crave it. And you, so, 
So you know what's so funny? You're sharing that with us, and, and I'm not going to oh. veer away from you one second. Yeah. Savannah, tell us about what you saw. Didn't you tell me something in the... What happened that you saw? You, were you near McDonald's or at McDonald's or something? What, what was it that you saw? You told me this morning. <clears throat> there was this eight-year-old kid with autism, and he was there, and he screamed, and then he ran into the back and grabbed the chicken nuggets. Didn't you say they were on the floor kick? No, <laughs> then I saw another girl that was 10 years old with autism, and she was at McDonald's, and she didn't get what she wanted, so she was laying down on the floor and, like, having a fit. <laughs> that's crazy. But that's, that's, that's the yeah, type that's of stuff. That's, what, do. that's exactly what it does. Right. Well, for, for, when I was a young kid, which, for example, um, I used to eat, like, I'm not even exaggerating, I used to eat sleeves of Chips Ahoy cookies and ice cream mixed with milk and Nesquik, like, all day. Just uh, constantly eating that crap and boxes of gushers. Just like, just like a crack and Yeah, like there was no... Like a hit. There was no... And my parents are great. They're amazing people. But they didn't have any sort of, uh, like, I guess, chains on the food, so to say. Right. You know, so I was just eating whatever I wanted. It was disgusting. But as I started to get grow up and get a, picked on a little bit, um, I decided that's not for me. So I started working out and kind of changed that lifestyle at a young age. It was actually pretty funny because I think it was transition from middle school to high school where I went when I went back to high school everyone was like did you do steroids dude I'm like yeah I'm, I'm 12 years old I did steroids I was like no I just stopped eating crap I know it's so 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 okay I, I didn't mean to segue I just wanted because my daughter brought that up this morning we, mm -hmm. we were actually on our way to an <clears throat> autism conference and um, they had dogs there they had they were talking about horses so okay so so yeah it's you know it's been a long journey going from never eating anything really from like very sugary things by the way sugar is the single most addictive substance yeah. one of them anyway uh, one of them anyway maybe not the single most but it's right up there uh known to men yeah because <clears throat> i mean there's a study done with lab rats okay uh one group is addicted to we talked cocaine. about this yesterday one one group is addicted to heroin one group's addicted to sugar put them all together what do they kill each other over the sugar so multiply that to the complexity of the human body uh, people start going crazy. I mean, um, <clears throat> it's also going with the fact that this food is chemically engineered. Kids will literally lose their minds. Like, you know, I need a hit. I need, a, I need my chicken nugget. I need my fries. I need my whatever. So um, anyway, as I, go, you know, start eating more healthy, I start doing things. I, I, I tore my body apart in college. I would drink every weekend. I would smoke all the time, cigarettes anyway. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, coupled with what comes in college. Any, um, not everybody has a different experience, but myself personally, I chose to go that route and put myself through the grinder and come out on top by coming home, hitting the reset button, like I said, and becoming more healthy by, I, well, what I thought was making shakes, going to the gym all the time. But the more I started to learn about, okay, What's, what's this, what, what is this ingredient? What About that? convenience foods? Right, yeah. and that and, and what I was putting in the shake. Okay, this protein powder, what's healthiest? How am I gonna, it really started, how am I gonna get bigger? Because everybody's so concerned about the physical. Everybody's so concerned about the physical. So the more concerned we get about it and the more we dive down that rabbit hole, so to speak, we find out what is really going on. What's it? You know, and I found out about bee pollen. You, know, you mentioned bee pollen uh, earlier. Um, Found out about bee pollen two, three years ago, and I didn't really grasp it. Right. Yeah. So it's like it, it's funny how we find out about little things like this, but it starts to show up. But you might not have even been ready on. at that time too. Right. That could because it's kind of in layers. Right. But um, it's fun, not to segue from because we're gonna come right back to you. Mm -hmm. It's funny. I went to a uh, a black tie event on the, uh, last Tuesday, and I haven't had alcohol in a long time. Yeah. I don't really because I really do love my temple. And um, I had a few sips of red wine. As soon as it got into my stomach, I can actually feel it burning the lining of my stomach. Wow. Because, you know, alcohol breaks the blood-brain barrier. Yeah. Yeah, leading cause of leaky gut syndrome is alcohol. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And, you know, what I try to say to people is that, folks, understand this. When you hear good mm -hmm. things about lots of products, think about the motive and the intention. A company is not going to say, well, let's just start out with the bad things first. No, mm -hmm. they're going to tell you the good things. Are there good things in wine? Yes. 
Is it good in an alcohol form? No. You want grapes, eat the grapes, the seedless ones. That's when you get all the nutrients you need. Not something that's been fermented in a barrel with added sulfites. And understand, excess sulfites are also toxic to your body. But I don't want to get killed because I'm in Long Island and this is one country. So, uh, <laughs> right. back to... My girlfriend's mom, she drinks wine all the time. My so dad, it's, too. My dad know, drinks wine every day. Yeah, it's a, common, it's a very common thing, especially on Long Island. So it's important to note a lot of people who are health professionals know this inside out, that it's, it's really the grapes that are the nutritional part. Yeah, but we pervert a lot of things and... and uh, I say we like to we like to spin a lot of things to to make them seem a certain way, but in reality, when we when we break it down scientifically or uh, chemically, it really doesn't make sense as far as being productive for our health. Um, so so yeah, um, going down this journey, I started to really um, up the ante on my shakes, and that was the only healthy thing that I was doing. And I thought health, um, as John alluded yesterday and today a little bit, that Things like grilled chicken, we think is so healthy. Oh, I'm eating healthy. You know, there's actually a place called, uh, right by me in East Meadow, called Muscle Maker Grill. And it says uh, something, I forget the slogan, is uh, something about, you know, uh, contributing to health. When, if your nutritional type allows that and you're working out six days a week, maybe, yeah, the meat is okay, but it's not for, it's not for everybody, especially in the United States where we're battling this obesity thing and all this other stuff. It's really... It's not that, it's not great. So once I started to realize, okay, well now I can't consume, the, I can't consume mass amounts of, of meats or acidic foods and things like this that, that literally make our blood like this gunk. They make this, this well, if you look at it on the microscopic level, it looks, like a, <laughs> it looks like a creepy little caterpillar. But the point being is that these things don't, don't help us as far as, well, as living longer. Well, you know what it is? <clears throat> we live in a society where we're not educated about nutrition. As a matter of fact, we're not educated that much at all. And I always say that people who are educated, educated by everything. people who are educated by schools or by books are not educated at all by, by the curriculum. Because the deal is the real learning is when you leave school and you start oh, living. Yeah. Yeah, not only sounds... that, we're not taught to think. We're taught to download and regurgitate right. yeah. instead to, of the processing. And, and to go off of and that, follow to, orders. To go off of to go off of that, I, I personally I went through the system inside out. You know, I graduated high school, very you know I, I took college classes when I was in my senior year, um, just to get ahead. Um, I went to I did go to Nassau Community for two years, but I bossed that like it was nothing kind of thing just to save my parents money because college is really expensive, you know, it's not It's cheap. a business. It's not cheap. It is. So, and it is, yes. So, so I transferred to the University of Delaware and, uh, you know, like I said, I partied. And, you know, but I did learn a lot there while I was doing that. And uh, I actually saved a lot of the books because there is some good, there was, you know, a lot of uh, knowledge and stuff. But um, came back home, went to Farmingdale, graduated Farmingdale. So what do I, I got this piece of paper, I got this piece of paper that I, do nothing with, which is it's good in, in some aspects of, of getting a job and it makes you look professional and things like this, but the way society, where society is heading, and we can see this in terms of our healthcare, we can see this in terms of anything, anything, anything. It's, it's, it's not really serving us. Not and, and this is prevalent with kids who are graduating college and they can't find, they can't find a job. Well, or, or, the, it's, or they got the degree and they don't know what they want to do. And now it's like, I just spent all this money and you know what, I'm going to change my mind now. So it's kind of funny to see how we've been led all of our lives, at least I've been led my whole life to believe that this is the end-all, be-all type of thing. You get a job, you go to college, and you go to college, you get a job, and then your life, you live your life kind of thing. But that's not how, that's not how I see it anymore. Being that you know, I got out of college and I'm learning more than I ever learned in college, through experiences, life experiences, and, and, and sharing things with people, information with people. I've learned more off the internet than I did in college. And by the way, you can take college courses online now for free. You could take MIT courses online for free. That is where we're heading as a society, as a culture. That's where we're heading, this free information. And now, by the way, if you haven't noticed, the internet is trying not, they're trying to shut that down as well. They're trying to well, Regulate that's that how you disconnect certain... people because right now we're connected. And, I mean, think about it. This show can be seen in 72 countries. Wow. Yeah. Do you feel it? 
That's the that's so, the power, though. That's right. The power. And, and this is this. what they want because see, if you take a mass of people and you take and you have them distracted with electronics first, and <laughs> then you yesterday. then you crazy, sever yeah. the electronic tie, what do you have? A bunch of people just dangling around. Yeah. But here's the real thing. It's one thing to go to university. It's another thing to think that you know it all. Because it's all about curiosity and realizing yeah. how much you really don't know. Yeah. And that's what keeps you going forward and learning and evolving. I've been to a few meetings with Chella since I met her. We go to library movie, movie meetings, you know, things, you know, think tanks and stuff like that. Mm. The problem is most of the money for funding projects come from people who have interests for monetary reasons. So we're not advancing ourselves as a society. I mean, we should even have combustion cars right now. Well, yeah. Do you understand what Dude, I'm saying? Ready? Oh, listen to this. We, we're so antiquated. Yep. Think of this. Ready? Now, Ford made the, the Model T, I don't know what year, let's say early 1900s, so to say. If you, 19, 30, in the 1930s. 30s. 1930s. 30s. Um, thank you. So we're still, if you look from the 30s to now, how much technology we've actually come and advanced in. But yet we're still driving the same exact technology as we are when they first made the car. Does that make any sense? It does make sense well, because of profit. Yeah, because and gas and oil is, is the form of energy. Right. And all we have to do if anybody has any like, you know, la, 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 with any any of this uh, this this truth, this information, all you have to do is follow the money. I mean yeah. when, when anybody has a problem in business, what do we do? We follow, follow the, the money. money. And we we ultimately find out where it's being sent and ultimately not not totally when it comes to the government and things like that we, we you know some things are are hidden but um all you have to do is follow the money and that's it yeah i know i'm, I'm now I'm, yeah it's now um, i put myself out there no now it's yeah. like, but what's, <laughs> what, yeah. no, okay, now i'm gonna get black <laughs> or something you know? what's interesting is that <clears throat> like uh, most of my clients in the city that i work with from a nutritional standpoint or training okay. or meditation They'll say, they'll make statements like, well, how do you know so much? I go, because I really want to help people. Yeah, same. And my education wasn't dictated by pharmacology. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if you know this or not, but back in the 40s, the hospitals that stayed open, if they didn't sell enough drugs, they were shut down. They got no funding from the pharmaceutical oh, industry. Oh, yeah. The it average, was all based on pharmacology. The average doctor only takes one class, PS. Only yep. one class Two in to three weeks of nutritional training. That's it. So the people that we come in contact with who even read one nutritional book know more about healing their body than their doctor does. I uh, know. And what's interesting is that they did, a, they did, a, they did this a <clears> couple <throat> times. They went in and did some um, statistical test um, data on people who do oncology work and 98% of them said they would not, they would rather die than to have chemotherapy. Yeah. So well, let's not, let's not go yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I don't it's want sad. the building to fall in. <laughs> so, yeah, that too. But, but the thing is this, like we go on our journey and we're not educated about protecting the most vital thing. And children are very receptive. If you tell a child that something is not good for them, it kind of explains because I've been explaining working with my daughter for a little while. She's able to look at body types. She can tell when people are not healthy. And it's funny, like, when you were swimming, when you're swimming, right, what is everybody drinking? What kind of drinks? <coughs> what kind of drinks are they drinking? Iced tea. What else? Speak up. What Soda. else? Soda. What else? And, oh, they're giving them, I woke up, and they're giving them pixie sticks. Wow. Going back to what we said before about Gatorade, sugar be, yeah. being one of the most addictive. That's crazy. That's so crazy. I remember, like, <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, silly, Savannah right? juices occasionally, yeah. and I make sure she gets fruit. I make mm -hmm. sure she drinks. She that's gets it. nice, clean water. That's good. And, um, I mean, when you look at her peers, most of your peers are what? They're bigger than you, right? And they eat sugar, cakes, candy. Dude, let me tell you. We go to the swim meet, and they have, like, Intamin's cakes. Mm -hmm. They're eating pizza. They're not even eating real food. And some of this stuff, some of this stuff contains um, properties that literally, if, we, if our brain is like a supercomputer, a lot of people like to use that analogy. If our brain is like a supercomputer, a lot of this stuff actually is like hitting the delete button for our brain. It's literally delete, you know, lowering your IQ. And right. there's conclusive studies that prove yeah. this across the board with things like soda, with things like sugary products. I mean, soda, for example, if, if it rips the paint off of a car, what do you think that's doing to the inside of your body? And, and we're not steel. Yeah, exactly. you use it on the car. Exactly. And for somebody, out. for somebody like my mother who who drinks soda every once in a while, um, she's like, yeah, it's fine, everything in moderation. 
yes, everything in moderation, mom. But to you be know quite what? honest, it's, my if I too. saw your oh, no. mom or either one of your moms and they said that, and it's funny because I, next week on my radio show mm -hmm. on Body Shop Radio, Chell and I are going to be talking about abstinence, and I'm going to talk. I'm going. I'm going in hard about sugar. Okay. Because what you're talking about, there's a term called glycation. That's what, it's a browning effect. Like when you take sugar and you put it in a pan and you mm -hmm. cook it for a few minutes, it actually turns brown. You've changed the molecular structure of the sugar. Now, when you ingest high fructose corn syrup, it causes the same effect on the inside of your arteries. It's called glycation, or the term is called age, advanced glycation in. What that does, that gooks up your hippocampus, which is your memory center. Mm. It actually gooks it up. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Like if you put sugar in your remember. gas tank, <laughs> what it would do, it would seize the engine. It would gook up and seal all yeah. the seals. <clears throat> That's exactly what happens in your memory center. But there's, so see, there's, this, there's also this, this illusion that people who, who do drink this for uh, things like this or consume things like this for quite a while that, eh, it's fine, I'll be okay, and you know, I'll go work out and I'll take care of it that way. But that's false because later down the line, that's when all of this stuff builds up. And we see these issues, we see these problems like memory loss or, or, uh, or joint problems or, oh, but there's something wrong with my liver. Well, maybe that had something to do with drinking a soda every, every yeah. once a week. Even if it's once a week, and it builds up over time. Of course. And for somebody like, I, I hate, I, sorry, mom, keep using this as an example, but, uh, you know, she, she does have an awesome immune system, but she also has a couple autoimmune deficiencies. So, they, and they, but then, then we start going into things like uh, mineral deficiency, you know, for example, I have alopecia areata and, and uh, Raynaud's. Um, for those who don't know, Raynaud's is when, when you, uh, you have bad circulation of blood. And say I go into the frozen food aisle, like yesterday, and I'm getting, by the way, my organic non-GMO fruits. They're flash, you know, so, uh, flash frozen, so the nutrients are still in there, still nutrient dense. You know what? Let's do this. Okay. Uh, I, I want to hear this roll. We're going to go to commercial, pay some bills, and we come back, and we're going to further this, this conversation, folks. I tell you, get your pens and pads ready because Body Shop TV is bringing it today. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies' Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30.
For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Most Vice Body Spray will make you feel so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face. Goodbye. Oh, no! Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. I'm the Body Mechanic NYC. And like I said, Chella is out doing her thing in the sun, having fun. We love you, Chella. I know you're listening. And um, I have Savannah, my daughter. I have John Papa here. And Chris, stop, what's stop. Your name, Chris? Banker. Chris Banker. Yes. And today's topics, once again, are um, should we be connected with our environment? And is it important to have a healthy partner? So where were we? So to to go back off of where we were. Um, yeah. So yeah, the the autoimmune deficiencies and things like that. So it's kind of funny, um, just to tie it in with uh, with the environment. It's walking around in in the in the fast food uh, fast food walking around the supermarket. It's kind of funny, you know. Like I can't go in the cold section. I can, but my fingers, for example, this one finger goes <coughs> numb and it starts to turn purple, and I almost get a frostbite feeling. So it's, it's, a, it's a battle, you know, it's, it's every day, it's, it's a little, it's something different, but it's not that big of a deal. You know, I don't have autoimmune deficiency, something like cancer, or, for example. It's, it's very minute in but the, it, in the but spectrum it, of But things. it is a concern, but once, yes. you, but once you actually start to up the ante on your minerals and balance your body off, uh -huh. your body will definitely come back to where it needs to be. The mm -hmm. body is constantly healing itself mm -hmm. if you give it the tools. And, and to... to to further that point, um, for example, alopecia areata, they say, uh, they, doctors, whoever, uh, you can look it up on WebMD, it, the, the, the cure is to move to a warmer climate and the cause is because of stress. Now, any one of my friends, my fa friends and family know for a fact that I am never really stressed. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always having fun, you know. I, I mean, my job is to work for an entertainment company uh, um, as an MC and a dancer so I'm always having fun. It's my job to have fun, and I always have fun. And so, so for something to, for somebody to tell me, hey, you know, that happened because you're really stressed out. That that's BS. I know it's not true. Right. I know for a fact it's not true. I would say that for 80 percent of the people, but definitely not you, because when I even yeah. met you, you were kind of chill. But remember when I did the hydration check on you? Ah, yes. And how old are you? 28. I'm going on 26. 20, 26. Uh huh. And um, I mean, that's funny. Remember, that's the first thing I did after yeah. a few minutes of meeting, and I did the hydration check. And what, what I found is that your connective tissue was a little dry. So like I said, once, we, once you actually get your mineral load up, your body will actually have the proper hydration level. And not only that, those things are affecting the nerve endings and also blood flow to the appendages. Mm -hmm. I mean, your body is a balanced, incredible organism. And it's always repairing itself. Yeah. But at a certain point, when you no longer give it the minerals and things that it needs to maintain homeostasis, then cortisol is produced at a high levels, and it'll start breaking down your own materials to give your body what it needs to sustain life. The body will always sustain life. Now, it may not be optimal. <clears throat> Once you actually get those minerals and get them up to par, then you'll be optimally functioning. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so... So, so you know, it's... it's uh... It's a tough thing to deal with sometimes, but it's not, you know, I'm not sitting up here like, woe is me, but yeah. it is, you know, it, it, it's, it's a little annoying sometimes, you know? Yeah, but and, for but, example, I mean, that's what they want you to worry about. You know, if you're wor worrying about what you look like, like, as you can see, your hair only grows in certain spots, and it's not even that really noticeable or that bad, but mm -hmm. someone who has that issue would be like, oh my God, this is terrible, my hair doesn't look good. 
um, I'm fat because I just had a scoop of ice cream. Like that stuff's not right. important. Right. What important is you're lo giving love to people and giving your body proper nutrients and stuff like that. When you do that, you feel good and you give love and just be happy. And your body and your body responds it, accordingly. Of course, exactly. because yeah, we're I well. I don't know if you guys just to, a little bit off topic, but not really. If we go with towards environment, our environment, our Earth is around 80 percent water, right? Our bodies are about the same. Same percentage. Forty five to seventy five percent water. We're, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna really delve into the environment, the connection with the environment. Okay. I know that you want to say something about the relate your your, oh, yeah. your partner. Yeah, yeah. Being well, healthy. Well yeah, the relationship and being healthy, like I'm dating uh, my girlfriend Amanda and um, we you know, we're we're both like very health conscious and Was she always like that? Yeah, well, since I met her, she was like that. But I think, like I said, when we get comfortable, we start to, you know, go down the unhealthy path. But we've both realized it. And now um, from there, we've been trying to be healthy and just think positive. We meditate. She's very deep into yoga. She's actually going for yoga, teacher training and stuff like that. And brought me for the journey on the yoga, which I'm actually grateful for because it's really, really awesome for your body. And just it enhances and meditation. And All it's, that. yeah, I just love every second of it. So. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for her. Um, but as for that, it's most definitely healthy. Her being on this healthy path has actually kicked me back. From opening up the float center, it's very stressful, you know? Um, so I was actually going back to like a more negative thought process and actually having her in my life has actually brought me back to the more positive aspects. And just, just to interject really quick, when we have these negative thoughts, <coughs> it literally increases our, our cral levels, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, 100%. You know, yeah, so, it, it throws off our, it throws off <clears throat> serotonin, throws off everything. Oh yeah, and it, it, it increases uh, adrenal function. We we I mean, adrenal is supposed to be uh, adrenaline is supposed to be produced in a fight or flight situation. This is supposed mm -hmm. to be something that happens once in a blue moon. Yeah, yeah, like when. But I'm... people, because of sugar and caffeine and nicotine, experience yeah. this all day throughout the day. Uh, yeah. So the body becomes completely exhausted. And it's and it's not just those things, it's our environment oh, as well that we're the overstimulation. With, which is yeah. right. So which is what we're talking We're gonna, about we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> when, when we get to the second half of the show, we're gonna talk about the float and how okay. it really heals oh, the yeah, body yeah. and stuff. Now we'll get there. It's so hard not <laughs> to <laughs> know, into, so. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but to kind of reiterate the thing about healthy partners, um, how am I gonna do this? Um, I was in a very stressful relationship. It was years ago, and, and this is why it's important for you to really, really always make sure that you're, you always have to make yourself the number one priority. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to care and love, love other people, but you have to make yourself, make sure that you're okay. Mm -hmm. And I do a lot of work with mothers who give themselves to their children, to their spouses, to their family, and they end up being like broken down battleships, literally. Yeah. And they have to be reprogrammed to realize that they have to make themselves a priority because you know what? When a hub is injured, it affects everybody who pulls up to the terminal. Yeah. You know? Ah, but like back to the thing with a healthy partner, and I'm going to say this because let's just say it's not a partner or it's your mother mm -hmm. or someday you will or have children. I don't sleep at night worrying about my daughter's health because as a parent, it's our responsibility to give our children the best fighting chance they can. Mm -hmm. Because unlike 100 years ago where food was better, it's crazy now. Yeah. It's like Russian roulette. And I'm not even going to get into that because that's a, that's pick, a whole other like show. Pick your because poison. I could talk a year about the Russian roulette thing and food. But when you have a partner or loved one who is not healthy or not eating the right things and you are health conscious, it wears on you. Because as you start to go down a rabbit hole and you start to educate yourself about, you know, the different, the different things that are in the food, the way food is grown, mm -hmm. the way the animals are treated, what they're fed. Because you know, it's one thing to say grilled chicken is good, but if you start going like, so how did this chicken start? So let's think about the hen, mm -hmm. right? What was the hen eating? <clears throat> hmm. Mm -hmm. What do most of them eat now? GMO corn? Corn. corn. Yeah, genetically carbon modified based, corn. Genetically modified corn that even people who handle it come down with renal failure. Right. When pests or insects eat it, they die. We're a pest, we're an insect. Very I don't know. I, I don't need to say any more than that. I guess you could read between the lines without me just banging you on top of the head. Understand, whenever you look at food, the first thing you should say is, where did you come from? Uh -huh. Yeah. 
And even, even when I get something that is organic, I don't know, it says, you know, this came from Brazil. I don't know where it really came from. No way. And organic today doesn't really, it, the integrity of it isn't always upheld. The, 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 so, the fertilizers they're using have all kinds of ammonia and all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff Correct. in it. So even when, even if I, now I, I talk to my friends, we really, uh, we have this idea of growing everything organic in our backyards, but when you do soil sampling and you test for certain things, you'll find that it's really not that great to grow organic in the soil itself. So then we get into but things like, well, all right, so I'll, I'll, I'll do hydroponic, right. I'll do something like that where I'll do, or maybe a flower bed, or, you know, try to get something like that going on. And even then, the environment that we're connected to is polluted. Yeah. So if I want to grow organic and do it in a way, I would have to do it literally in a closed environment now, in a greenhouse. Are you familiar that there are ecosystems that are around the world where they do that? No, I did not. They have them in Africa. Oh, yeah. I saw That's going to be another show for us. Cool. Oh, man, we got, we got to be breaking some but good to, stuff. But to go back on the partner um, thing, uh, my girlfriend, for example, John's talking about his relationship, my relationship with my girlfriend, I actually started doing the, uh, I, I went to yoga training this past summer, and a lot of stuff happens when a person uh, transforms in that type of manner. Oh, yeah. Um, so your girlfriend will start, I mean, it, it's everybody's, well, she's already, everybody's different. She's already, like, a, an amazing, amazing person. So yeah. this is just bringing her to the next level. To the next, like, and, what? and that's all it does. And it takes the rela relationship furthermore and more more importantly to the next level so well that's my point so imagine if she falls off the wagon and you're health conscious and yeah it, it's i mean it, it really it, it really helps improve a relationship absolutely. Tenfold, yeah. Yeah, tenfold, yeah. tenfold because for example when i went through this whole entire transformation over the summer going through yoga teacher training i'm a 200 hour uh yoga alliance certified to do teach kids uh k through 12 to teach hot vinyasa, to teach whatever. It's not the point. The point is that it helps someone become conscious and aware of what is happening around them. I didn't start eating salads, anything green for the most part. I mean, I, well, green, I, I ate some stuff, but I didn't eat a salad until I was 25. Not wow. 25. And, and that's a lot of kids. I'm not, it's not like, ooh. That's, yeah, but you know what's you know, interesting? But a lot of kids and, and just don't. To, and, kind of, and kind of just to kind of segue right behind you on this, the deal is the body is incredible. It will do what it needs to do to get you to grow and, 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 and prosper at mm -hmm. young ages. But the problem is over a period of time, your body becomes broken. Yep. Because there are things in your body that are, that are quite in abundance when you're young, and then as you get older, those systems we become taint. tired. Yeah, yep. and we also taint our body through diff oh. different modalities. Oh my God! Let me get me so. started about that. That's a whole other. Yeah. Thing. So, but um, anyway, the my girlfriend when when we, we we I started doing this, our relationship improved over the summer because I was taking the steps to be kind to my body and myself. And it's not you know you, you could serve as an example, you could be a leader and things like this, but people once people see how well. A person is doing, people are like, wow, what's, what's yeah. he doing? What's she doing to lose yeah. weight? What's, what, is it, what, what kind of diet are you on? And by the way, diet is it's silly. Why go on a diet? Why don't you just make it a lifestyle? Why don't you just live healthy all together? But once we start doing that, then we find out about all these little right. things. But the word, and, you know, even the word diet is a marketing word. Exactly. It's a business. Exactly. These, all these, I mean, we've gotten so far away from natural. Like, for instance, my, what's your dog's name? <clears throat> don't you love your dog? Right. How would you feel if your dog was sick? Would you, would you feel good about the fact if your dog was sick, had runny, had pus coming out of his eyes, was laying down and not joyful and playful? It would affect you, right? Yes. So this is what's interesting. There are a lot of people who have animals that feed their animals table food. And, or better sometimes than their kids. Or they feed them, or they give them fruits and sugar. I met people who give their dogs apples. This this happened. Oh, this no. happened with my dog. We uh, we had a, you know, what's his soul? He um, he died recently. At, it was about a month ago. Uh, my our, our family dog Jet, and he's a P American Staffordshire Terrier pit bull. And we my dad, uh, not to say anything bad, but you know, because we don't know, like, he didn't know any better. We take the bacon grease that he had microwaved, 
make microwave the bacon. They got this this cool little contraption. You hang the the bacon on there, and you, yeah, you throw in the microwave, and it captures all the grease. So he gets his crispy bacon. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Dude, I, I feel better. like I want to jump in the bowl and cover it up. <laughs> this gets better. Wait, so you, the my dad would get his crispy bacon to go with his his eggs and his whole thing in the morning, and then we take the bacon grease and pour it into the dog food. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, then, you know what? My grandfather used to do that with the dogs. See? And so it would make it tastier so the my, dog will eat yeah, this. Yeah, my this, mom does that too with all the stuff. Fat. Yeah. And then they eat, eat it. They eat it, but in turn, what do, we, what do we see? What happens to our dog? My dog can't. He's losing function in some parts of his body. He's getting these well, cancerous tumors. Right? Yeah, that's, that's and, and there this is too. Accumulated but a lot of times, even when you do that stuff and you add that crap to their food, they won't eat the food otherwise you put stuff in it. You know, yeah. So now you have to continue yeah, to keep feeding it or they yeah, won't eat. Well, you know, so think about it. We take, a, we take a carnivore and we start feeding him pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, folks, yeah. I want you to think about something. Yeah. I have asked some of the top dog breeders on the globe, <clears throat> and they found that the dogs were becoming sterile. They weren't reproducing. And what they found is that the water was tainted, and they started feeding them raw meat because a, a cat and a dog is a carnivore. They're not supposed to eat cooked food. No. They're yeah. supposed to eat meat, bones. They chew when they break. If you don't believe me, trust me, your cat can bite right and puncture wounds right through your arm. Oh, no, yeah. People, mm -hmm. they're a small lion and tiger. Oh, That's yeah, what they no, are. I've met some and, nasty you know, cats. And the ones that are <laughs> domesticated, we see yeah. them like little soft. There's, you got to go on YouTube and look up I've critter cams. Have you seen this? No. They put critter cams on the cats, and they sneak out, they go out, and they hunt <laughs> That's like sick. lions and tigers in yeah. the wild. Then they come back home, and they get around us, and they're like, <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> they're animals. I, let me tell you something. I, I have people that, that have pets, they have cat, birds, and they talk to the birds like they're like human beings. They are quite to. smart. I mean, all of to. these, yeah. everything on the globe has its own intelligence, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And we're not the only smart ones here. Mm -hmm. We all have to survive in our environment. And um, the, the, the bird, like this, my, one of my clients has two African greys, and the bird's like chewing the house up. I'm like, she's like, don't you do that. Don't you do, I'm like, it's an animal. This is what it does in the wild. I'm like, can we get going with this? Yeah. But you, they're, they're used to eating, well, birds eat nuts and seeds and different things like that. Mm -hmm. But cats and dogs, folks, if you want your dog or cat to have longevity, feed them, feed them raw meat. This is it's, what they're designed. Chop it up, and trust me, they will love it. It's funny because we just, uh, you know, the dog passed away. We got a new dog. Um, and my brother picked up a new dog. He's like a husky mix. We don't know exactly. We got him from an adoption uh, uh, animal shelter, right? And uh, bring him home. And the first thing, because he's, he's on all these different uh, Med meds and stuff like that, which is so sad. I, I'm not going to say, you know, I, I'll let everybody figure it out themselves type thing, but I do what I can. And this is another thing, you know, going, tying it in with the loved ones and our environment. Everybody, like I said, everybody moves at their own pace. So it's hard to introduce these things to people without them going into defense mode. Because everybody, let's be honest, is operating one form or another with their ego. Right. Daily. So, right. Um, and, and there's actually... I, I don't want to get too far into that, but it's it's hard for us to kind of us as being people who who are trying to live healthy. It's we cannot force these things on the people. So mm -hmm. it's 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 we we hint it in certain ways. So what I do is I take the water, I take uh, clean filtered water, and I give it to the dog. Or I'll or um, we notice going to what you said about the, this is what they want, this is what they need. We're making grilled chicken last night. The dog's been in the house for less than six hours or something and he smells and he's like, you know maybe it's that breed the husky whatever but he knows innately it's his instinct to go for that instead of these little pebble dog foods and this is like of course it's the Nanji, it's murray's chicken uh the best i you know the best chicken you can get in the supermarket type of deal uh no 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 hormones added no and it's everything certified no chicken humane. that took a week to grow exactly yeah. it's certified humane the chicken was you know Certif it, yeah it's certified important. as humane as i guess where do you get be. those chickens I don't know. That's the thing. No, where do you, you know, buy them? Where, oh, where I go to Fairway, or you can go to Whole Foods, and they or something taste like. different. Yes. Oh yeah. And, and, yes. And, and you know, a shadow of a doubt, it tastes incredibly different. Right. So much so to the point where it's like you keep going, going for a little bit more, and I feel bad. You know, I got to share it with my friends, but it's. And not to get off the subject, mm -hmm. I want to talk about chicken for a second. 
If you as a consumer go out and buy an, or, an organic chicken, right, who's organically grown, who is grass-fed and runs around, it's free roaming, and you take your standard chicken that's sold in the supermarket, you put them on your counter, you hold the chest of the chicken, you grab the leg of the non-organic chicken, you can actually rip the leg right off. When you go to the, or, the organic chicken, I'm going to tell you something. The only way to get that leg off is you actually have to cut it with a knife. Wow. It's so much stronger. It's connective tissue, everything. Yeah. Think, wow. about, think about a body that's sick. Yeah. Think yeah. about how weak its connective tissue and everything is. It's the same thing. It's no different than your food. I know. What you put into your body makes everything strong or it makes everything weak. Right. It literally. And, yeah. and we as Americans can't expect to keep subscribing to a dead food diet and expect to live longer. That's wow. why we emphasize things like this, uh, the, the micronutrients, the calcium, potassium, magnesium, selenium. I mean, I don't personally look at a plate and say, wow, this has a lot of selenium. No, no, I don't. Yeah, I know, goes but out I and know. Does that. But you know I what? Know, though, it's this processing in your mind. Yes. Is it completely aware of that? We know that it's nutritionally void. Mm -hmm. We know that. And as we drive around, and you ever seen the movie Blazing Saddles? No. Okay, yeah. There's an old movie called yeah. Blazing Saddles, Lee Van Cleef. And what happens is they're riding through the desert, <laughs> and there's a toll booth in the middle of the desert, and then they go into this town, and, all this, and everything is like a front, a bunch of props. That's the way I look at everything. And when, you, when you're out at 10 p.m. at night, when you ride down the street, every single place that opens has nothing that's good. In fact, uh -huh. the only place you can find something at, say, 11 o'clock at night is at 7-Eleven, and you'll find an apple and a, a banana. And that's about it. Otherwise, everything else that's produced in every one of those stores is complete, complete garbage. garbage. Mm -hmm. And you know it the next day when you have to get rid of it and get it out of your body yeah. because you don't feel good, your stomach is upset. Well, that's providing if you've had a diet that's clean. But if you've been eating garbage for a long time, that's another thing. I went to Thailand in 2008, <clears throat> and I used to eat burritos. I would eat. You ever, had, you ever heard of Grace Papaya in the city? They, they, sell, they yeah. sell hot dogs. Yeah. And they sell these fountain drinks. They're like yeah. sugary drinks. Yeah. I used to eat that before I went to Thailand. <clears throat> when I came back, me being within one block of the establishment, I could smell the toxins and the resins. And even to this day, I get nauseous when I'm around it. When you take a nitrite and you, and you heat it up, it becomes a carcinogen. Mm. And you could smell it. It makes you nauseous. Well, that's, that's like well, I used to smoke cigarettes for, uh, I think, three years almost. Right. And I know it's not, you know, in the grand scheme of everybody else's life, a lot of people smoke it for a long, much longer time. Do you smoke cigarettes? Maybe cigarette? their whole entire life. Do you life. smoke cigarettes? Yeah. You, like, you like the smell of cigarettes? And it's, and that's, but the point is, after, after you know, when you eat this, this nasty food, you can smell the chemicals, and it's the same thing with something like cigarettes. When I'm walking behind somebody in the, so the, let's say Manhattan, you're walking down the street, and someone's got the, move over to the side because it's it's really that incredible of a of a feeling that it's just like oh really what is I used to do that to myself I know it's you know? crazy and then you look in the store you see like a hundred people eating that stuff yeah. it's like two hot dogs and and a cup of, and a, a cup of sugar for like four dollars and then you know people say I can't afford to eat healthy well that's a show in itself yeah but the deal is this, <clears throat> so we stay on track. Relationships, healthy, is super important. And for those of you who, when, when you're choosing a mate, it's really important to realize, because if you choose a mate who's not healthy, they eventually will become a liability. Mm -hmm. And understand this, and, and, I, and I hate to say this, but I mean it from my heart. People who become sick, who don't take care of themselves, who don't learn, become a burden to families. Mm -hmm. They yeah. become a burden to themselves, mm -hmm. and everyone has to take care of them. It is up to us to educate ourselves, to educate our children, give them the things that they need so that they can also go out and be productive citizens yeah. and then shed and, and, and share it's, that with their environment. It's also important to do it in Am a way. Am I being way, mean by saying no, that? It's no, also, it's also important to do it in a way that is balanced, right? It comes from, like, you know, from the bottom of our heart. And, and in a way that is more of guiding instead of pushing. Yeah. Right. And, then, the and way, that's another so thing. Say, it's like I would, get re I would take it really personal when I went in and I tried to share information <clears throat> with people and they're not getting it. But then I realized the actual best thing to do is to lead by example. 
I mean, I make my money. I get, I have tons of business, and people know about me, so I get to work with them. And but you always have certain people that go what, like I have at my gym. There's a lady that I've seen for the last three and a half years, and she's been asking me the same question. Um, Bread, is that okay? And I've said to her at least 50 times. I go, you know what's so interesting? Because in three months, you're going to ask me the same question again. It's, they are caught in a loop. You ever hear like a child ask you the same question over and over again? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because that's what sugar does. It destroys your brain. Mm -hmm. People are so high on sugar that they can't even concentrate. 30% mm -hmm. of American children are on Ritalin because they can't sit still. I was on I was on Adderall, Vivance, It's an antipsychotic drug. Do you know Seven that if years. you're on that, you can't go into the military? Yeah. Not that that's a great thing. But the yeah. deal is, it's an antipsychotic drug. And here, let me share something else with you. You may know, you may not know. 80 almost 90% <clears throat> of the drugs that are for people that have mental issues or imbalances have sodium fluoride in them. Right. There's a, there's a fluoride agent in every prescription drug, fluoride bonding so agent crazy. in 90, I, think, I forget the statistic, but it's more than 90% of pharmaceutical drugs use a fluoride bonding agent. And that fluoride cannot, cannot, yeah, I repeat, cannot get out of your system. You cannot yeah. detox that out. That's there forever, eating away at your body. Well, you know, what's, well, you know what's interesting is this, and for those of you who, who are maybe familiar or not familiar with it, <clears throat> Sodium fluoride is a neurotoxin. So folks, check this out. We're going to roll to commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to further into this, and we're getting deeper and deeper in the rabbit hole. But I hope you have those pens and pencils ready and that paper, because we're taking you on a ride. Hopefully, Buy Shop TV journey is to get you tonight, when you, just before you close your eyes, that you're thinking about your health. We'll be right back. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful brain prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing.
Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power? Yeah, I do! Welcome back to Body Shop TV. I am the Body Mechanic NYC and the wonderful Chella, like I said. Chella, we love you. We love you. We miss you. Chella is in Florida working on her tan and hanging out with fam. But she'll be back next week with the Body Mechanic. And um, I have my lovely daughter, Savannah, and she got hungry, so she's chowing down. Is that good? Huh? <laughs> is that, is that man-made or does that come from the land, Savannah? <laughs> is that live or Memorex? What? Live? <laughs> you get up on those terms, Savannah. I have John Pappas and I have Chris. Christopher Banker. Yes, yes, yes. And we are talking about, now we're going to start talking about, um, should, are we connected with our environment? Should we be connected with our environment? Is it important to be connected with your environment? Definitely. And um, just to share a few things out there. I don't know how many of you out there in TV land have seen the movie Avatar. But there are some things that are very, very potent about that movie. Even though it was a, an animation, it was so <clears throat> far ahead of its time. But here's the deal. Animals, insects, human beings, trees, plants, soil, we are all connected. As a matter of fact, the soil pH is very close to blood pH. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Interesting, right? Yeah. Because understand this. <clears throat> plants grow. Plant eaters eat plants. Meat eaters eat those plant-eating animals. And then we eat those animals and we eat plants. We're all connected. We decompose and the minerals in our body. Because remember, when you eat, you need minerals for every function. As a matter of fact, Anyone who knows about indigenous cultures, you know, they eat different organs. They eat tongue, they eat liver, they eat heart, they eat, they eat intestines. And you may say, oh, disgusting. But believe it or not, when you don't have the proper minerals in your body, those organs start to break down because they need those minerals. That's why indigenous cultures eat different organs. As a matter of fact, for those of you who have never been to the Serengeti or been to Africa or been to a place where wild animals, animals that feed on other animals, the first thing that animals eat from the caucus is actually the organs because it's the most nutrient-dense food. Wow. That's cool. I and the way they that. found out about that, when they started bringing lions into captivity, <clears throat> what they would do, like we eat, we take and we eat like a cut of salmon, right? right. On the side of the salmon, the muscle, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the deal is that only has a certain nutrient profile. What they found is that the tigers in captivity started having bone problems. And it was because they were feeding them choice cuts of meat, but they weren't giving them the whole mineral spectrum. Hmm. Because in the wild, that lion or tiger would eat the whole thing, yeah. right. not That's just cool. choice cuts of meat. And, and the same thing goes for humans. We, we can't um, also expect to eat f farmed salmon versus wild salmon. Because I just saw something recently. The wild salmon is, uh, is actually packed packed with nutrients and you can see the color too the color yeah. is is more it's more full it's more red it's more bright well the the, the right <clears throat> and the environment that it lives in is also vast and we're we're destroying some of the environments too not only not to stay away from the gmos because we talk about that like so much but with the fukushima radiation in the pacific ocean now Huge. radiating the fish we can't even eat that fish anymore unless we're going to start having issues. And maybe we may not have the issues, but our kids will most certainly because it hits us at the cellular level well, first. Spoil, spoiler alert. All bluefin tuna is radioactive and should not be touched or eaten. All bluefin tuna. Well, I'll share something with you that you guys probably know. Um, there are foods that actually block the pathways of radiation affecting DNA. DNA. 
B pollen, D pollen. Oh yeah, yeah. I knew it. yes, yes. I knew it. And in Fukushima, there was a certain, there was a, I think it was pigs or something, and they were eating certain types of mushrooms, and they found there was no radiation inside the pigs, and the radiation that was found inside the fecal matter, it was being pulled out by the mushroom. Wow. We actually, we actually have mushroom yeah. uh, types that we could use to solve this radiation problem. Our bodies are incredible. Yeah. The planet, Nature the planet is, is incredible. incredible. Right. Yeah. This, is, this is the reason why we have the show, to expose you to things that you would not normally hear. It's, it, but it, it's funny because there, 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 and there's sit multiple sit studies, back. there's multiple studies and conclusive evidence and science that proves this. Anyone could go on YouTube, you can look up a tech talk of, of uh, a couple of different scientists who use certain mushrooms that you could find in the Amazon or different uh, forests and stuff like this and use it to, to literally create an environment. We, there was an uh, uh, experiment done where they took the, these mushrooms, put it on top of, of this, this oil spill, this, this uh, oil spill that they created, and there were seven different groups of scientists that, that, that tried this, and the one scientist who used the, the fungus, the mushrooms, not only did he cure this, the, the, the oil spill, it created an environment for other life to start forming. Birds started coming down. Things started growing out of it. So he literally turned this disaster into a masterpiece of creation. And it's incredible. With, with mushrooms. With mush something that, and that was, by the way, one of the first things that formed on this planet was fungus, was fungi. Yeah, how, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and you know what's funny? But when you have fungus in your body, it's different. Fungus right. in your body is different, but in general, and you know what's funny? Let's think about Not it. Not all mushrooms are good, though. No, that is true. Right. That is true. There are some but good, yeah. a lot of them have super, super properties. Oh, It's yeah. incredible. Chaga. Chaga. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let me tell you. Chaga, hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there's tons of things. And um, that's a whole nother. Top. But the Asians have been using mushrooms for thousands and thousands of years. In yeah. fact, they have found people in the tundra that were thousands of years old, and in their little knapsacks, guess what they found? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. See, and I mean, you gotta understand this. <coughs> and I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe I take that back. I love saying this, but I'm putting myself out there. Um, our medicine is all around us. We see it every day. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, you know that thing called crabgrass. Never heard of it. Crab you've seen, you've yeah, seen crab grass yeah, 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 of course. What it is, it looks, it's a, it's a full leaf, right? It's a full leaf, mm -hmm. and it has little things coming out of the center. Most of us that have lawns, we take and we pull it out. It's called planting. When you take and mix it with saliva, if you have a cut or you're bleeding, you put it right on, and it actually pulls toxins from your skin. Wow. You can chew green plants. Let's say you get bit by a snake or bit by something that has venom in it. You can chew up a plant and swallow it, and guess what the chlorophyll draws to itself? Toxins. Wow. That's, that's incredible. Yeah, that's awesome. Your healing properties are all around you. I don't know. Yeah, it's funny how we call it uh, alternative medicine when in reality it's it the is original. Medicine. Yeah. It's the, no, not just it is medicine. It's the original medicine that's that we a, have strayed away from, and it should be the first and foremost mode of, of healing ourselves. Doesn't make money. Exactly. But it should be the first and foremost mode of healing ourselves rather than going and taking this synthetic uh, thing that was created in a lab. Well, right? you know what it is. First of all, <clears throat> the word alternative already is a negative connotation. Yeah, right. What it does, it takes you away from the truth. So yeah. they take, let's take this alternate route. Yeah. <laughs> right. And it's just like, and it should, it should hit you right at home. Yeah. When you're driving down the road, and you see the word detour, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Longer. No. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. So when you hear the word alternative, it's the same thing. They tried to create the mindset that it's wrong. Yeah. But actually, it should have been the original path. Yeah. And right. pills should be the detour. Yeah. The and then another right. detour to right. the wasteland. And it's not to say that, you know, don't take, any, don't take your pills or take this, that, or the other thing. No. There are certain situations right. where we have to use that type of thing. But for the most part... It could all be prevented. It could all be well, well, prevented well, you with, know what it with is. that type right. of Right. What it boils down to is the medicine. fact that are we going to prevent illness 
are we going to wait till you're completely sick and then try to fix it? Well, that word. Or just keep it at bay. You missed the word. What word did you forget to say? The Prevent cure. It. The no, ki the cure. Right. The cure generates a lot of money. When you focus on the cure, that means that you have to fix something that's already broken. Do you know the you word know cure I mean? is patent? The word what? The word cure is patent by the pharmaceutical industry. Is it? Do you know that you, wow. let's say I went to a white willow bark tree and I peeled off a piece of bark and I said, if you take this white willow bark and you soak it in hot water and drink it, it'll cure your headache. Do you know I could be arrested? What? <laughs> Guess what the main constituent was in aspirin. Salicylic acid. It comes from that the so bark crazy. of the white willow tree. That is so crazy. Wow. The word cure is patent. So in the, wow. in the holistic realm, they cannot say cure. Well, that's wow. it. But they have you focusing on it. We're trying to find cures for all these things, right? But if you prevent them, do you need the cure? Patent cure. And wow. it's, 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 another, patent it's, cure, it's also interesting to note that a lot of these things that are extremely healthy for us, like, for example, hemp, okay? Uh, hemp seeds, hemp oil. Illegal. A good uh, illegal. Illegal in the United States. Raw milk, illegal in the United States. Right? I don't know how much y'all know about milk. I'm just going to throw a bunch of things as we travel down this journey. Yeah. I love, I love, I love um, milk, but I, I get the hemp milk. It's right. not as tasty as coconut, right. but, it's, but the hemp is definitely more nutritious. Um, but then again, I'm not making it myself. So it's, but, there's always that, you know, if it comes in a box, it's, it's most likely food stuff. Well, milk so, is like... We've been ingrained that milk is a part of our culture, and it mm -hmm. really is something that is designed for birth. Yeah. As a matter I, yeah, of fact, yeah. and I'm going in right now. For those of you out there in TV land who may know this or may not, I'm pretty sure it's just a small percentage you are aware of the fact that there's a book called Devil in the Milk. And I'm going to say it again, Devil in the Milk. About 30 years ago, a scientist altered the gene expression of the cow. There are two different types of cows. I mean, there's different kinds of cows, mm -hmm. but we're talking about what they produce. Right, what's They played with the gene, ex the gene expression. They, they played with the amino acid profile, and what they did was they played with gene expression 66, so it's called BCM7, beta casing morphine 7, and they created the A1 cow. So any milk that is served in the US, in Europe, is the genetically modified cow. What that milk does, it has an opiate-like effect. When I first became a trainer, I piggybacked on when I did a course called Integrative Nutrition. I was told to, I was wearing a heart rate monitor and everything that I ate, right, I would monitor my heart rate, I would document it. If you ingest the food and your heart rate fluctuates within five or 10 beats of ambient, you're actually having an allergic reaction to the food. Hmm. So think about what is the only beverage you can actually drink that doesn't affect your heart rate? Water. Water. That's it. Water. We're the only mammals well, that drink everything can we, other than. Can we, uh, can we get into something cool about water that pe most people don't know about with the Dr. Emoto thing? All right? Sure. If you, guys wanna, if you guys want to look something really, really cool up, look up Dr. Emoto, E-M-O-T-O, -O, okay? Dr. Emoto did um, a bunch of scientific studies where he took water, um, the same water, and he would talk, say nasty things to the water, like, I hate you, I'm going to kill you. And then he would freeze it and look at it under the microscope, then take a picture of it. It would show that the water would look all deformed and, and kind of just like out of place. Then he would take the same water, unfreeze it, and talk lovely things to it, like, I love you, thank you, things like that. Do the same process. Freeze it, look at it under a microscope, and take a picture. When he looked at this picture compared to the other one, the picture that had love and thank you to it would actually form into a beautiful crystal, like beautiful sacred geometry, so to say. Like if you look at the design of this flake, and you can look it up, Google it. You'll see a million pictures. Say it again to them. Um, Who is it, doctor? It's Dr. Emoto, E-M-O-T-O. I forget and, his first name, but he yeah. it's, and it's, he also took uh, uh, polluted river water from yeah. Japan. Oh, this is cool. And and literally transformed it by doing something like that. And there's the you blessings. change the frequency. No, what you do? Yeah. Bacteria, everything. Right. Yeah, you take the you take the polluted water and you offer it a blessing, whatever you know your religion is or whatever it is. Just offer a beautiful blessing to it, whether you just say I love you to it, and it changes. Remember I was talking the about that on the show, and it changes the, the 
whole thing. Remember I was talking about that on the radio show yeah, yesterday? Yeah. I was talking about the fact that we are all based on frequency. In fact, most of our organs, they resonate at different frequencies. We are a frequency source. Someone could walk into a dwelling with a bunch of other people and affect the frequency of the entire room. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the connection oh, that yeah. we have. Mm -hmm. And it's with every mammal. Yeah. I remember they did some studies with rabbits. They took a litter that rabbit had. They took the babies, and this is going to sound really gross, but they did. They were about 20 miles away, and each time they killed one of the babies, the mother's heart rate spiked. And they were wow. 20 miles yeah. away. Wow. We are connected. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, well, I know that. Yeah. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of evidence that supports this. If you know anything, if we as human beings quantum have learned physics. anything from quantum physics, we know that e equals mc squared. This table is vibrating. We are vibrating. Everything is vibrating at a certain frequency. A blade of grass, for example, vibrates at 7.83 hertz. Right. There's a natural occurring frequency in everything. A natural occurring energy field in mm -hmm. everything. We see this in planet Earth. Right. There's the toroidal field that runs through it, the magnetic field. Every human being has that. Uh, a, a, a blade of grass has that. A flower has that. Everything is resonating at, the, at these frequencies. And the more we get in touch with those frequencies and eat things like live foods uh, that are micronutrient dense or just nutrient dense in general, um, we become we what resonate we are eating. Higher. We resonate yeah. higher we resonate at a higher certain frequency. frequency, and people feel that. Mm -hmm. You look at somebody, you go into a room, you're like, I don't know. It's this guy. They look Something like, more they're, about they this look guy. like bad, they're dead. Yeah, bad vibe. I get a bad vibe from that guy. I don't like <laughs> that guy. It's a little weird, or that girl, whatever. You know, and it's literally because these people, literally, from what we learned from quantum physics, they're vibrating at a lower, Low, frequency. lower frequency. We can sense mm -hmm. it. And we can Anim sense it. Animal alcohol sense brings it. you down yep. lower, too, and what is most people it. doing and all day? And you know what's funny? Like, I always make the analogy, like, <clears> when you go to an opera, and when they hit those high notes, it brings tears to your eyes. Or when you're in a drum circle and they hit those low notes, you feel oh them in your God. gut. We have frequencies all mm -hmm. through and through. Now, for, this is really awesome. Now, if we go into frequencies really fast, back in ancient, ancient times when they had these huge cathedrals or churches, they would actually make these structures in a way that when they played the organs in the churches, that the sound would resonate throughout the whole thing and actually raise people's frequencies almost to the point of spiritual awakening. So what does that tell you? You know, what does that tell you? That there is, there's a fundamental... Not uh, knowing of this, the ancient people, I mean, Sumerians, people, ancient cultures knew about this, knew about this way before way they started before. figuring this out. So, how do we know this? this? Time. Well, because it's just not taught. It's, oh, it's, of course not, because you can't advance civilization uh -uh. if everyone's in the dark and they're yeah. on sugar. Of course. You can control them. You can make the big money conglomerates off them, right? can yeah, take over. 100%. I, I don't want to go in here. Yeah, like, yeah, we're not, trying, we're not trying to get killed. I'm getting all yeah. excited right now. Yeah, if, but, you want, if you want more information, by the way, on all this type of stuff, uh, check out a documentary called Thrive. Yeah. It's a uh, well I just watched that for the first it's time. It's amazing, It's right? an incredible it is documentary. Awesome. It's eye-opening. It's a wealth of information. It's, um, it's a big eye-opener, and anybody can watch it. Yeah. Um, it, and it, it it's like two hours, of, right? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a little long, but... Um, it's very interesting. Yeah, for somebody, for example, somebody like my brother is not open-minded. He's very like, I got to do this, that, and the other thing. I don't have time for any of this crap. Because he knows everything. Thing. Right. He, yeah, just about everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But once he saw that... He is, now he's obsessed. You know, he, any of his friends, he's 19 years old. Any of his friends who come into the house, Watch this documentary. Yeah, okay. you got to watch this documentary. That's awesome. So, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. I'm telling and you, I, I just got turned on to it last week. A yeah. friend of mine went to a healing retreat, Hippocrates, in, in, um, in Florida. She was down there wow. for 21 days. Let me tell you what they did. Not to veer and go crazy. Yeah. Just, there's so many things I want to talk about. It's like yeah, we no. need 12 shows, <laughs> uh, 50 shows, yeah, 100 50, shows. Probably 50. But <laughs> we all know that sugar is a serious, serious issue in the Western culture. In fact, in the world now, because Central South America, there's a pandemic of obesity and also diabetes. Sugar is literally eating away at the core of human beings on this planet. One of the things in the body that, sugar, that, that really loves sugar is candida and yeast. And what I learned is that, you know, candida and yeast hate chlorophyll. Hate. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I, would, what I learned is that what they were impl implementing in people was they were doing um, wheatgrass implants. Let me tell you what happens. Yeast and candida is drawn to sugar. And if you know anything about the wheat plant, there are three separate stages. It, it, it spores, 
at a certain point, and then it goes into the next stage where it's not as sweet and there's more chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. But what they do is they take it into the infantile state, and if you've ever had a wheatgrass shot, it's very sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what they do is instead of doing like a coffee enema or a colonic, they do a wheatgrass implant into your colon. And what happens is the it's candida cool. and yeast is drawn to it, and then it, the, can, the chlorophyll kills it. Yeah. Wow, that's How incredible. Crazy is that, that crazy? That's incredible. Because wow. if you know anything about internal flora, it, should, it can <clears throat> be like 20% yeast and then 80% okay. healthy microbes and bacteria. Mm -hmm. okay. But most people are 80-20 the yeah. opposite yeah. way. So all these cravings that we have with sugar are all based on yeast and candida. For those of you out there who are not feeling well, who every time you go past someplace that serves sugar, if you touch a container and you, want, and you have a sugar craving, besides the fact that you're chronically dehydrated, you should have your body tested for yeast and candida. Yeah. It's a and big that's how you epidemic can start. out there. Most people have that problem. Real yeah. big. Well, and, when and, you, and when you do a colonic, you can actually see the candida and yeast come out of your colon. I mean, and, and to kind of tie it together with the, the environment and the yeast, candida, and the sugar, when there's a, let's say, for example, on Long Island, we've, we've had a couple really uh, nasty storms. Uh, earlier uh, this year, there was, I think it was September, October, there was a, it was raining, hardcore, places were flooding up, people were starting, I, 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 I was working uh, at the shopping center at the time, and people were flooding into, no pun intended, flooding into this pizza place. The line is around the corner. The parking lot is flooded, okay? And people are pouring into here, trying to get their pizza, and it, and it right, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know, like, but what is the, this is a dangerous situation, but people, I got to get my pizza, man, you know, and it's kind of, it's kind of funny because like it's, drug addicts. it's the sugar in, in, in the yeast, the candida, we're addicted to this type of stuff, you know, you, you get a fix well, for it. Well, it wants, it, it wants a, once it's inside of you, yeah. you become a host, yeah, right. you become a host for candida. Or we also, right. we also create, we create an environment for our body to harbor these things yeah. and to make it okay. And you got, and you got to feed it. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, fungus, we'll, we'll, fungus is another form. So yep. people know how candida works. It actually, when you are a host, it actually releases a chemical into your body causing you to crave more of the substances that feed it, which is sugar. So yeah. it's, not actually, it's not actually you. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's, it's you. the chemicals that we're releasing you're, into you're the body. You're a host, <laughs> and it's yeah. like saying, it's time to feed me. Yep. Yeah. And this is what I try to get people to understand. It's like... You know, and a lot of times when people say that, you know, that person is out of control, I go, no. I said, someone is controlling them. Mm -hmm. And they look at me like I'm strange. But the deal is whenever you, and it's so funny because when you have sweet things in your home and you have that stuff in you, your body subconsciously is calling for that food. Well, right. I want to tell you one thing. It was actually cr the craziest thing. I don't do this almost ever. Like sometimes I'll have peanut butter and jelly before bed and stuff like that. But one night in particular, for some reason, I was just craving sugar. It was like 12 at night. And what I do? I went to go make a peanut butter and jelly, but I had no bread. So what I use? The only thing available, which was Pop-Tarts. I had two Pop-Tarts, and I made a peanut butter and jelly with it, and I ate that right before bed. Oh, my God. I wish I you could have videotaped that. I woke up the next day, and I'm not even joking. My nervous system had the jitters as if I was doing, like, heavy drugs or oh, something. Man. I was like, I woke up in the morning. I'm like, I do not feel good. Like, this is crazy. But why? Because it was, I probably ate, I probably ate about 300 to 400 grams of sugar in, in that one sitting right before bed. So what that do? It sat in my stomach and just fermented and rotted. And, and Which is enough <laughs> sugar for almost three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Literally By three weeks. Way, yeah, that's, that's an incredible amount. And Our body's not meant to process that amount of sugar. Look how many people have pancreatic <clears throat> issues because the pancreas produces insulin. Right. It's yeah. working like triple overtime yeah it's, it's like having a job and never going home yeah that we, poor pancreas we, yeah, we often seriously. we often throw around this uh this and this the saying work smarter not harder right and, and that's what we're doing to our bodies we're working harder not smarter the more we feed things to it and we're that are essentially kind to the body the more we're kind to the body the same thing happens one right. hand washes yeah. the other right right so <laughs> when we're kind to our body, our body's kind to us, and we feel great, and we're vibrant, we're full of energy, you know, our vitality's up, and things like this. So it's really important to consider all of these things, and to, more importantly, do your own research. Yeah. That's the most oh, important yeah. thing. Do your own research, and come to your own conclusions, because the best teacher is yourself. The best teacher is yourself. I mean, I tell you, man, I used to say that 
parents, before they're even allowed to conceive, should have take a course in nutrition. I think everybody should. I think they should be mandatory. Yeah. You know what's interesting? Sure. Savannah, like, what kind of food do they serve in school? <clears throat> what kind of stuff do they serve in school? So, chicken nuggets. Speak up, speak up. Um, you said pizza <laughs> and chicken nuggets. Pizza, oh. chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets in school. What else? Tacos. I remember back in the day. I don't know if there's. Did she like say this. pizza are, are the, are the chicken chi nuggets? Are the chicken tacos? nuggets? Can you like bounce them? Are they like rubber balls? What, I remember the, at lunch. Chicken we used nuggets. To, yeah. Yeah. We used, to, we used to take the the chicken nuggets and and bounce well, them. And, and you want to add? And they're going else? to school. I know. You want to add something else to this? Ready? <clears throat> what do they serve every kid with lunch? Like it comes with the meal. A little carton of milk, right? Mm. Now, all the, the milk that they're getting is getting coming from these cows that are pumped with hormones and steroids, right? So now they're giving these kids milk every day with lunch. You're drinking and loading up on this milk. And why do you think these poor kids are hitting puberty at seven, eight, nine years old? Because they're hormonal bounce. You know what else? <laughs> Another thing I want to share crazy. And, um, is about the birth control pill. Oh, man. Mm. One of the number one causes for throwing off women's hormonal balances is the birth control. We're going in. We're like banging up all. I, this is great. And, that and, and about it gets this. passed yeah. on to the child. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to commercial break. Man, we need like five hours for the show, man. I'm, I'm so, you know, <laughs> the fact that you guys are your age and you're aware of your health journey, let me tell you I, something. I, 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 am, I have chills here just sitting here because I'm trying to get people my age to understand how important it is to eat properly, and they just look at me like, I'll you get can, to that you tomorrow. You can teach an old dog <laughs> new tricks, though. You know? Yeah. So, folks, we'll be back in a few moments, and we're going to talk about this a little bit, and then I'm, I want dying to talk about flotation and the effects of it on my body. I've done, a, I've done four sessions since last week, and I'm vibrating on a whole different arena. In fact, I want my daughter to try it. So we'll be right back, Okay. Okay. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act One Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act One will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act One Entertainment.net for a free, no obligation price quote, or call 631 758 3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral Soaps and Waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Goodbye. Oh no! 
Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power? Yeah, I do! Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Locky? That's right, Alan. Ice Shop TV. I am the Body Mechanic NYC, hanging out with family and friends. I got Savannah Banana, <laughs> I got John Papa Float, and I got Chris Amazing. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Just before we went to commercial break, we made some few comments about women and men with hormonal imbalances. What environmental toxins do is they throw our internal ecosystem off, and that's our hormonal system. And um, one of the things I was talking about, I did extensive research on the birth control pill. So let's think about how the birth control pill works. It makes a woman's body be pregnant the whole time she's on the pill. Does that sound natural to you? <coughs> no, hmm, it's interesting. actually not. Also, I found out with extensive research that the plants that are used to create these genetically modified pills are genetically modified crops. <clears throat> wow. So think about ingesting genetically modified food, which we know the body does not recognize. And now you're putting your body on this hormonal turn, um, tailwind of up and down. It affects, it accelerates the aging process, just like sodium fluoride does, which affects the pineal gland and brings, has women having their period at nine years of age, growing breasts at nine years of age. Understand this, folks. A <coughs> woman is supposed to have her period at 14, 15, 16, not 8, 9, and 10. Mm -hmm. So this not only accelerates the aging process, but it has your woman thinking about procreation at nine years of age. That's a hormonal imbalance. People are having difficulty losing weight. Usually their hormones are out of sync. You know, most definitely. It's, 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 it's cool that you bring this up because my girlfriend and I uh, have been talking about this for the past uh, month or so. Uh, I saw something on this uh, website, another good reference if you want to check it out, collective-evolution.com. Sick website. Uh, Say it one more time. Collective-evolution.com. And it's a website that's, uh, it's, in my opinion, real journalism where journalists go out they find these, uh, these different topics, and they write it almost like a research, uh, a, like a senior thesis paper. But it's not a thesis where they're formulating here. This is a, a conclusion that they're drawing from extensive research. So with extensive research into this topic um, that some of the journalists have found, that there are alternatives to the birth control that are even more effective oh my than birth God. control. There's so many things. Imagine that. A woman can actually <laughs> test a temp Imagine that. You can do it by temperature. Did yep. you know that? And that's what that's what we found. Of your body. That's what yeah. we found. There's actually, and this is promoted all throughout Europe, and, and everywhere. But and it's America. foolproof. Yes, and it's foolproof. Wait, so, so how it, do you go about what temperature? You can get an ambient temperature of your <clears throat> body, and just before your period actually starts, just before you start ovulating, that temperature will actually go up. It's like an incubator. Yep. Oh, so a key. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you can then, also test pH, pH changes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, changes in the, yeah. then you know now, okay, this one week, I am not allowed to do the, the damn thing oh, with okay, her because okay. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's time, the time has come. I cannot do that now. Uh, you and also then, understand how long sperm could live inside the woman's 
vagina. It's what, like three weeks or something? Right. No, it's less than that. It's like five days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I thought three but, weeks. Maybe yours no, is fountain sperm is different. So it's <laughs> like, <laughs> but the super, super cow is <laughs> 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 the, the, yeah. the point being is that it, there are alternative ways. And she, but she's very, you know, she showed her mom about it. And, you know, we presented this to her. And she's like, oh, you know. And, but it's like kind of like, you know, teaching the old dog new tricks. Again, um, it's very hard for, for us human beings to, to relearn something and to accept that and to be receptive of that when we've been told something for so long that, hey, this is how you do it. This is how it's done. If it ain't broke, don't fix it type of thing. But guess what? You're it breaking is it. broken. <laughs> You're breaking we are breaking down. We are broken, and so, we are breaking so, down, and we're not getting better. So there, and, and, and I feel this, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about it, but I, I do feel the effects in the relationship with her from taking those, those constantly. Because she is on some other stuff, too, but it's the, the birth control, first and foremost. I'll tell you what, guys, you don't want to deal with that. You know, and you know it. You know it's like, oh, here it comes. I'm you like, know, you feel it. Oh, boy, I don't know. And you know what's so, acting, you know what's so interesting is that crazy. women have so many, so much pain. It's because the hormonal balance is off. Let me tell you something. When I met my co-host, when I met Chella, my host, <clears throat> Chella was, she's going through her changes, and she was having huge sweats and everything like that. And yeah. as soon as I got her juicing, all of a sudden, she stopped having the sweats is because what happens is when you balance the minerals in the body, it balances the hormone system. It's all about the hormones, man. Everything mm -hmm. affects the hormonal imbalance. And it happens to men, too. We have yeah. the same things going on. We have a different mixture ratio of, of, of testosterone. <clears throat> it's, and it's, we have a different <clears throat> mixture of testosterone and estrogen. Women have more estrogen, less testosterone. We have more testosterone and less estrogen. Right. It's interesting to note how all these, these options and these, this knowledge, this science fact, it's not science. None of this is science fiction. This is all science fact. It's available in every other country. 93% of the world, 93% of the world knows about all of this stuff, all how this health we don't know about it? So America is always the last to fall behind. I mean, we could see this in, in every single part of society in every part to talk about the environment we see people around the world th there's revolutions going on right but we're not taught there's, we're not there's told that this is happening 93 percent of the world going back to the environment again but, the water if we look at a bottle of water we we know exactly what's into it down to the part per million down to the part per million so what does that mean if i look at a water bottle in italy i could see the levels of magnesium and and all the ph and all this stuff if I look at a water bottle in the United States, it says cleaned. It says, you know, Poland Spring, for example, uh, fresh from the springs of blah blah you blah. You should blah, be able blah. to go to the website nothing, and look for it. You don't see anything right. even on the website. There is nothing. How, what, how do I know what's in that water? How do I know? Oh my God! But you're making me vibrate. I'm about to shake myself to death. <laughs> you know what's so funny is this. And then what they do is they put a tariff on imports because they're showing us the way. And as soon as people see something, look, they go, "I would never drink that." I would never drink that Fiji. Let me tell you something, man. I am healthy. Once I stopped drinking tap water, I mm -hmm. became extremely healthy. Yeah. And even though there might be some residues of plastic, when you open a plastic bottle, you can actually smell the dioxin in the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you know that or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know crack Poland it. Spring that's been exposed to sunlight or heat, <clears throat> as soon as you crack the container, you can smell the dioxin in the Pure water. And, and the, problem is, the problem is you don't know how long <clears throat> those bottles were sitting on big pallets in, in the, the back sun. Of, yeah, exactly. In the sun before you or got heated. And, and, yeah, we, and or, we, we know, we learn this now. You know, people say, celebrities are saying, well, huh, if it's been in the sun, don't drink it because I almost got cancer from drinking the, the, these bottles from laying in the sun. And, and then when we do some more research about it, like, wow, shouldn't leave those bottles in your car. It should, and, and that goes for uh, extreme cold, And so many cold, people too. do that. Yeah, cold. Even in the cold the, weather, too. Yes. <clears throat> Point in case. In my travels, especially in the summer, I always see mothers with, I see people with bottles with ice in it. So this is what I do. In fact, where I live downtown, there was a Chinese restaurant. They were selling bottled water. You know, they like to capitalize on every market. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're out front, and they have trays of Poland Spring bottles with frozen ice inside. And I went up to them, and I said, listen. I said, I do holistic nutrition. I have a show. What you're doing here by freezing the water is toxic to the population. 
Uh -huh. When you freeze it, it gives off a toxin and it's in the water. Yeah. I said, you are doing a disservice to your customers. And if I see you doing it again, I'm going to start telling people that you're selling poison. Now, yeah. when, I see, when I see mothers on the street with frozen, you see kids with, with the, the people are shaking the water yeah. bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so the funny chunks, yeah. because <clears throat> I walk up to them. I don't ask them the name. I don't tell them who I am. I start talking about the water. I said, listen, plastic, when you take and heat it up, it expands. It gives off a gas. When you compress it, it gives off a gas. It's a dioxin. Yeah. It's toxic. It's deadly for your brain tissue. Mm -hmm. I know you love your child. Stop killing your child. You should see the people. They like they drop the bottle and go, "Thank you so much for sharing that information." And people say to me, "Have you or ever had a bad like, encounter with you? someone?" Because they're so I, they, close. I said, "No," because people don't know this. Yeah, you know, they want water, they want cold, but they fail to realize that the body is is ninety eight point six degrees. Mm -hmm. You take thirty two degree water and you drink it, and you can only sip it. That's why uh, when when I went through the yoga training, we uh, we learned in Ayurvedic medicine. <clears throat> the first thing that you do when you wake up is you drink a warm glass of water. Because it's easy for you to assimilate and actually take in. Mm -hmm. Right? It yeah. massages the internal organs, helps Turns flush everything on. out, and gets your body primed Turned on. and ready for the rest of the day to absorb whatever else you're going to put in there. Even for digestion, it preps your, <clears throat> it preps your pancreas to produce sodium bicarbonate so it can protect your stomach from the hydrochloric acid also helps with prepping the small intestines. I'm going to have a show talking about that too, <clears throat> how the leading cause of acid reflux is chronic dehydration. It creates weak stomach acids, Same a bunch of different headaches things. Headaches too. Dude, we can, absolutely. Oh, and what I found out about headaches, because we're going, we're dancing now, mm. yeah. is that as soon as you have pressure in your colon to evacuate, it triggers a migraine. I don't know if you know that or not. Wow. It's an evacuation because, see, now the system has stopped. See. For those of you, when you guys eventually have children, <clears throat> when a baby is fed, within 20 minutes, that baby has a bowel movement. Did you know that? No, within I 20 minutes. I, I think I did. Yeah, after you, <laughs> eat, after you eat food, providing you're topped off with fluids, think okay. about a pipe. Yeah. If you stuff food in it, then you put water, then you put more food, then you put water. As you put more in there, it continually moves. Yeah. But if you have just food, food, food. Oh, yeah. It gets backed up. As soon as you have pressure in your colon, wow. it triggers that a headache. That makes a lot of sense. And I it's never so thought funny. of it that way. As soon as you take a poop, headache's gone. You have all these protection mechanisms. So once you go beyond that, because a lot of people out in public, they don't like to defecate. Or they don't like <clears throat> to excrete right. in public. Understand <clears throat> that your body doesn't care about where you are. Yep. It's saying, listen, lady, listen, dude. You got a package in here that's got to go to town. Right. And you got to get it out. And that's what, it's funny because when we eat, um, let's say for uh, something like Thanksgiving, for example, when we eat a mass amount of foods that are not so healthy, which is, let's be honest, that's what we're doing on Thanksgiving. Right. It's not just the tryptophan and the turkey, okay? It's this mass amount of foods that isn't so healthy for us. It takes a long time to break down in the blood. And if we look down on the microscopic level, we could see that the blood is, 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 is moving around. It's not... It's like toothpaste. It's not efficient. Yeah, it's not efficient, right? It's not moving in, in a way that the blood is moving through it. It's moving through the blood. And, it, and the blood cells, when we look through a microscope, it's supposed to be these little circular things. Not the case, right? And, and because we have this buildup. Well, they're pulling... This build up. It's, it's using the oxygen inside the blood to actually neutralize <clears throat> some of this acid that we're putting in. And from that case, then the rest of the cells cling together in this, in this sort of fashion to hope that the other one has more oxygen to use and kind of build up again. But a lot of times, there's not a lot of oxygen present, so they'll just kind of float right, together because, and not really flow. Because most people don't move. They don't oxygenate their body. Yeah. I mean, it's really easy to oxygenate your body in various ways. So, so, to, so to, right, and that's another thing. In order Breathing. to create this environment within ourselves that is, that is sustainable, that is uh, of... Uh, viable source of energy all the time to reach into it is is using the breath and using um, proper nutrition and using proper things like mental nutrition I often refer to you know people are like well I eat so healthy I'm vegan I'm this that and the other thing like okay that's why you look like it. you're breaking down we your body's it. dissolving that's that's fine if you're vegan and all of this stuff but it's very important to, it's very important to also note if you're doing these types of things to to take in the mental nutrition to every once in a while, I mean, some people for, I, you know, I, 
meditation often sometimes has a negative connotation to it. But, there, you know, everybody has their own form of it. Some people will petting their dog. Some people sit, my friends, we, a lot of us like to surf, you know, uh, sitting on the surfboard, just watching the waves come in. Well, right? There's a lot of different forms of this to provide the mental nutrition. Yo, I, I, I agree with that. you 100%. It's you know? just full circle, man. But you know what's right. funny? I want to I say something to vegans out there. Understand this, Mr. Mrs. V, Mrs. Vegan. The soil will dissolve and eat your body. When you're <laughs> broken down, the plants will eat the minerals from your body. So when you say you're a vegan, trust me, everything dissolves and eats everything else. So there's no one shot. So, so if I go and I do, for example, something like the paleo diet, which, by the way, paleolithic men did not eat that much meat. I did CrossFit for two, two and a half years, okay, competing, competitive, doing all this stuff. And a friend and I were doing paleo for a little while, and we found out through extensive research as we went down the rabbit hole that <laughs> Paleolithic man didn't really eat meat, all right? The only game that he, that he got was rabbit. You know, it was, it was that little... was based on what was available. Right. So and that's if there was even eating. A... Exactly. Right. Exactly. And you could, you could do your own research on this and see different uh, talks about this as scientists just laying down the knowledge. And it's really funny because when the more you try different things, the more you find out, okay, here's the positive, here's the negative, and here's this little line in between that we kind of dance on and find the truth. Okay, and you pick out what is, what's healthy out of that thing and you add it to, to your lifestyle. So there's no one-shot diet, I guess. There is no one-shot diet. It's a matter of rhythm with your body. It's lifestyle. a matter of rhythm with your environment because here's the deal. In the winter months when the ground is covered with snow and you don't have access to vegetation and you did not store it away, you're going to kill living things that are out there. Mm -hmm. So we live in a land of convenience. I understand that there's practices to produce large amounts of food. But when I encounter lots of vegans, what I find is that a lot of them are really mineral deficient because they can't get everything that they need. There are only few bean sources that provide actually all 22 essential amino acids. So the uh, mung, oh yeah, we, the we, mung we, bean. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get there. We we're gonna have a show talking about that. But um, oh god, I'm just I'm the, I'm yeah, flying right it's now. It's funny. Guys. It's funny because it, we we as human beings, it's hard to get. Talking about the environment, it's so hard to get uh, these these nutrient dense foods without it being contaminated. Yeah. So it, it, the, you know you do the best that you can. You, you do, do you know that that's you that's really because you know I got to the point where I got really depressed. Yeah. Really, a couple yeah. years ago because I because when you start learning so much, but the environment is even great at protecting itself. Mm -hmm. Even though we have radiation, there are foods that even protect you against that. This is what knowledge is about. We do not have to go. Can you elaborate a little bit more on the bee pollen? Because I did learn about this a couple years ago. A few of my friends who were, uh, a couple of them went away to Hawaii and were in uh, with school out there, University of Hawaii, and they learned uh, a couple things in, uh, I forget, I think it was a nutrition class, about bee pollen. The guy was very, um, you know, the earth, the earth right. he called it the earth diet. We're just to kind of reel people in because a lot of people hear diet and they're well, like, oh, I got to try well, this. Well, the kind, of, the kind of segue into it just a little bit, mm -hmm. not to, because I, I plan on talking about that in the future. The deal is bees facilitate 90% of the vegetation on the earth with pollinating plants. And then the remainder is done with pollen from trees. It's blown around. So wind also pollinates and bees pollinate. Now, what's inside what, what the bee collects is the male sperm of plants. They, they pull the, the uh, pollen in, they mix it with their own enzymes and honey, they package it together, and they store it in their legs, and they take it back to the hive, and it's the beginning of life for new bees. It's so incredible. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. But when you look at the bee pollen under a microscope, its exoskeleton is like, it could withstand 300 degrees Celsius. Wow. It's indestructible. That's crazy. Wow. To its environment. Yeah. Wow. We're talking about this is nature. Well, I have to add this. It's 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 found <clears throat> it was found in the pyramids. If that's not extravagant enough for you, <laughs> the great They knew. Yeah. So what do we find in ancient things? We find people that have been dead for seven thousand years and in their satchels they've frozen, they find mushrooms. We look in the pyramids and we find bee pollen. And monatomic These, gold, whole other thing. Oh, <laughs> look at I mean, monatomic so gold. So the, Dude, the so signs the, are there. All the so 
the, the nutrient dense things that we have are in our environment. It's not in a, in a laboratory, right? Which is the way most of our food is made. If we, if we look at 90% of the food products in the grocery store, it's like you said, it, it's contained with mostly corn, soy, um, byproducts that aren't nutrient. If you look at the ingredient list, just look at the ingredient list. And if it's things that you can't pronounce, probably shouldn't be eating it. Che actually, yeah. Chella, I agree with you completely. <clears throat> Chella and myself, we're going to do a video footage. I'm going to go into a supermarket, and I'm going to go through at least a couple hundred products so we can give you an understanding. Because every time I'm in the supermarket, I see a wonderful mother who loves her child, and she walks up to a shelf, and she looks, because the shelf has all the same type of product, different brands, and what the mother will do is look at the price. Mm -hmm. If you are one of those people, or if you're a man and you do that shopping for your family, you are definitely taking your health concerns and throwing them right out the window. If you're shopping for food by price and not reading the label, you're doing yourself a disservice and also your children that you're feeding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You tell them. So, man, yeah. let me ask you something, because we have a few minutes left here. Um, how much exercise do you get in school? Twice a week. That's it. And really? we have recess and we get to run around. Every day? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, twice, twice a week? Real? You're not joking? I have gym on my No, but I remember getting gym days. maybe twice a week. Blue days or gold days, what they called it in West Islip. We, so now we had it every day. It was we used to, I used to have school. I used to have gym, like, every, day. gym every day. This is what they're doing now. We are, they are no longer even allowing the kids to exercise. Wow. So here we are. We give them sugar. We give them pizza. What is it other? Wow. Taco Bell? Taco chips? Taco, taco McNuggets. Chip. Yeah, yeah. We, no, taco we have taco them, yeah. McNuggets. Uh, what else do they have? <laughs> what else do they have? They got, they they got cheese this sticks. Is, this is, this is right? the truth. Though. Cheese yeah. sticks? They got wow. cheese sticks. Oh, my God, folks. They got burgers I'm, that I'm, look I'm like... I'm having a conniption right now. I remember. Two days a week. All fake food. Yes. Right. And then, and then milk on top of it, which is dead food. Folks, I hope that you're listening to this very closely. How do you expect your child to learn in school when they're not eating real food? And everything, everything is connected to the environment as well. Like we know if, we, if a child is born and we're not holding it right away and giving it love right away, the child, uh, what happens to the child? You ever Oxytocin. hear about this? Oxytocin, right. Oxytocin is chemical uh, hormone, chemical. Well, that's a, that's when a love drug. That's a, that's a love chemical that's released. Oxytocin. Yeah, or? yeah oxytocin. Right. So, that's what's generated so when you're harboring hug, an hug. environment where kids aren't able to get out that energy or or express themselves. They become highly acidic, also. Yeah. So they become how, acidic, more acidic, so and depressed because you can't release your. Oh emotions. man, yeah. let, let me tell you something. You know what's really interesting? This is the that's, deal. Wow, that's really. I'm going to make sure that my concerning. daughter from now on is brown bagging it, and then she can share her bag and give it to some of the kids because they'll get more nutrients <laughs> from that paper bag than they will getting it from the foods they're eating. If your child is going to school and having pizza and and chicken that's McNuggets cool. and and ta tacos, are you serious? Look, corn, and where's that? And, and where's that ground beef come from? Too, you know. Oh so my! I'm pretty sure that those cows are handled with love, and they're in a pasture eating green grass, and they're even getting exercise. Those wonderful cows, and then they grind them up and make wonderful beef for your child. I'm sorry, that's not reality. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> oh my God! So what else do they offer the drink? Do they offer soda and anything like that? Juice? Juices. Oh, I know Gatorade. I remember. I used oh to my drink God, two Gatorades a day. Folks, I tell you, we, the, the, the bag, the cat is out of the bag. If you drink juice that's been extracted from a piece of fruit and it's inside a container, it's only sugar water. The nutrients that's written on the back of that container is when it was in its fruit form with its exoskeleton and protected. But once it's actually inside of a container and it's and it comes in contact with air, there's a process called oxidation. And what it does, it kills off most of the nutrients. <laughs> Seriously. You know? that's, inc that's incredible. The, I, I did not, you know. Yeah. A lot oh, of you this, know that about juices? I do. I do. Yeah, it becomes sugar water. And it pa they pasteurize it, too, so they heat it oh, up and kill any of the nutrients. Right, they, they pasteurize it. So the top temperature for pasteurization 
is 190 degrees. It kills all the live enzymes. Yeah. What, vitamin C dies at 141 degrees. Constituents of garlic. So it doesn't even. Compound, so when it says that it has vitamin C, degrees. then there's nothing really in there. No, but that was before. That was, that was the before. It was, before it was, that was, it was when it's in this fruit, right? Wow. Yeah, they should it's say a big, it's should, virtually a big see, lie. It's blowing my mind. If I ever produce, mind. This is too much. I, if I ever produce a product like that, I would say before and after. <laughs> before, man, vitamin C, 100% daily allowance. After, zero. Negative sweet. <laughs> negative 50. Negative 50. Wow. That's really the bottom line. You know what? This, this, this stuff is like just unbelievable. Shelf lifing stuff in it. Wow. Um, I know that we didn't get a chance to talk about fountain, but. Uh, Me floating. Just, uh, yeah, floating, but. Uh, um, this young man is doing a great thing. He's, he's an entrepreneur. He started a business. Don't do that. He started a business, and he has one of the only flotation rooms on Long Island. And um, I met him last Friday, and I've done four floats. And let me tell you something. Um, found inf inf infinite float. Infinite, yeah, inf infinite flotation. Yeah, session. infinite flotation. I can go there now with my eyes closed driving in the car. Last Wednesday, I did a two-hour float. And let me tell you. I feel better now than I've ever felt in my entire life. For those of you who have stress issues, who, are, who need to separate from your environment, you're overstimulated, if you can't sit in your car for three minutes in silence, you need to float. And if you can do it, you still need to float. That's yeah. the hardest place to, to practice being mindful and being present and, and sort of just being calm and stuff like this. The hardest place to practice that, in my opinion, is with our families and in traffic. Yeah. Right. Think about that. When you're when you're with your family, sometimes I mean, not everything is you know uh, peachy. Peachy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so um, let's face it. You know, and the same thing in traffic too. It's the hardest place to practice this mindfulness or to uh, or to just be calm. Or to be present. Or to be present. Right. It's it's very difficult. And uh, actually, I've been working a lot the past two weeks, and I really needed to 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 calm myself down and. Going into that float, man, it, there's nothing better than that. Well, you know what, man? We're going to have to do this again. Man, thank you so much, John. Mr. Thank you. Float. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. It's yeah. an absolute honor. And Savannah. <laughs> Folks, Buy Shop TV is, we're here every Saturday from 2 to 4. And um, next week's topic on the, te on the radio show that's Friday, we're going to be talking about sugar. And I'm going to have some demonstrations on the TV show next Saturday. And um, this is Body Shop TV. I'm the body mechanic. Next week, Chell will be back with me. We'll be in union, rocking it out, giving you the things that keep you healthy, live long, and rock on. So live hard, kiss long, and hug for 20 seconds. At least. <laughs> ciao, ciao.